In this video, we're going to be removing the tile floor in this kitchen in preparation for renovations. We'll go through what you need, some of the technique, and really walk through this kitchen renovation project. Now, I've done projects like this for disaster abatement and relief and some emergency response and although you may be able to complete this much easier with special equipment I'm just going to be using the small hammer, the crowbar, a pair of safety glasses you'll need those and some gloves you can get at the the hardware store for a couple dollars. Now this floor was laid on top of a type of linoleum and then beneath that is a concrete foundation. I don't recommend this method if you have a wood subfloor, if this is a second story or if you have a basement underneath you cause damage to the subfloor. I'm only doing it this method because I know that there's a solid concrete foundation underneath and there's also a linoleum or vinyl floor that's been tiles been laid directly above. I'm going to be removing the tile and the vinyl floor underneath and get down to the, the foundation to make it easier to lay new tile above it. So in, in this demonstration all you really need to do is, I've already started in this corner, but you're going to find a spot and you're just going to hammer away at the tile until it chips apart and it'll break. Sometimes it breaks easier. As you can see here, there's some spots where they didn't lay as much. See there? So it comes right off. Other areas, you're going to have to be removing piece by piece. But in this situation, since I'm going to be removing the laminate anyways, this can just come right up cleanly from, see there? It comes right off the, there's some glue underneath that, but that's going to be the next project. But, yep, we're just going to start removing this. 10 minutes into the project. You can see in some areas the backing comes right off. In other areas it's still stuck to the laminate. You can see this makes a big mess. Pieces flying everywhere. Um, keep a broom nearby and recommend closing off other parts of the, the living space because this stuff's going to get all over the place. But you can kind of see just give it some hits and the stuff eventually just breaks apart. It helps kind of hit it in some of the corner um, corner points where the tiles meet and then you can kind of break it apart and I also use the crowbar to get underneath some of the hard to pry open areas. Let's finish this section and I'm just going to kind of bag it section by section and I'll move on to the next. Now the nice thing about this laminate subfloor here is you can just kind of pry this up and I'm actually going to use this to bag all this tile and then I'll just dump it into my uh, disposal. Let's see here. Yeah, this is, there's no salvaging this. But, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna roll this into here and then I'll dump it in 
the contractor bags. The flooring's all been removed in this section. I already sweeped up all the debris, bagged it into the trash. We get a little closer here. You can see this is the bare foundation, and then there's a bunch of adhesive from the vinyl floor on top of it. This adhesive is going to have to be removed. I'm going to try scraping at it. It hasn't been super easy. They make uh, scrapers specifically designed for, for this type of work. I can try and pick one of those up. Otherwise, I'm going to try a method where you get a mop and you just add a little bit of water, moisture to this adhesive and it should come right up. Once, once we get down to the the bare cement foundation. We should be good to go. Um, I'm gonna check the levels. There's a couple hairline cracks running through the floor. We may need to level it, but just based on my touch and having walked around in this building, it doesn't seem too bad, but if we get to a point where we do need to level it, then We'll probably have to put some leveling down on the floor and just kind of let it spread evenly. And this is how you take up tile with just a few basic tools. You got your small hammer, your crowbar, safety glasses, gloves. I'm going to have to re remove all the tile in the rest of this area all the way down into that area. I'll update as we go, but I just want to get this video out there for those of you who want to DIY removing some old tile. Um, again, I've got to still go through and remove the adhesive off the foundation and then see if I need to level it, but like I said, based on touch and walking around kind of basic, basic measurements, I think we should be good to go. All these cabinets are going to come out, and this is going to be one open area. So I'm hoping to get all the tile removed, and then we can get to a point where we have the bare walls. All this beadboard wall is all going to come off. Um, we're going to be moving around some of the plumbing, some of the electrical, um, because this whole cabinet orientation is going to be flipped around and in, into this corner all the way over here. And this whole wall indentation is going to be re-leveled um, and made smooth. Um, so we're starting with the floor here, and I'll see you in the next video.